Hi, my name is Antonios. I'm a physical therapy student at NYIT. This is Marion, and today we will be performing a manual muscle test for wrist flexion and extension. First, for wrist flexion, we're going to have our patient sit on the chair, tell them to put their form in a neutral position with the ulna on the table. First thing we want to do is tell our patient to actively try to bring your palm into your body. Good, bring it back. Now we'll passively do it ourselves and check the end feel. All right, so the first grade we will check is a zero, which we'll put our fingers on the flexor carpi ulnaris and the flexor carpi radialis. And we will tell our patient to try to bring their palm into their body, but for a grade of zero, there will be no range of motion and no palpable contraction. Now for a grade of one, we will do the same exact thing, but this time there will be no range of motion, but there will be a palpable contraction on these two muscles. For a grade of one plus, the patient will be able to go through less than half the range of motion. So can you do that for me? Good. For a grade of two, the patient will be able to go through the whole range of motion without any resistance. For a grade of two plus, the patient will be able to go through the whole range of motion with minimal resistance. So, good. And that is, that are, those are the grades for gravity minimized position. Now for against gravity, we will have the patient in the same position, but this time we'll have their forearm supine to the table. So again, the first thing we would want them to do is we can secure the hand here at the um, proximal forearm, and we can tell the patient to actively bring their palm towards their body. Good. Now we will passively do the same thing. Go till the end feel. Okay. Apply some overpressure. Now for a grade of three, we will have a full range of motion without any resistance. So can you do that for me again? Good. Now for a grade of three plus, the patient will be able to go through the whole range of motion with fingertip resistance. So can you do that for me? Good. Resistance is applied at the distal metacarpals. Now for a grade of four, we do the same exact thing. This time we apply moderate pressure. Can you do that for me? Good. Now for a grade of four, we need to compare this um, wrist with the other wrist in order to be able to tell the difference, um, we will apply resistance on the other wrist as well, and we will be able to tell if that one can go through, has more power to it. So for a grade of five, we do the same exact thing, but now we apply maximal resistance. Okay, can you flex your palm? Good. We need to make sure that the patient goes through the whole range of motion when we do that. For a grade of five, we also need to test as well the other side and compare both sides to see if there is equal strength to it. 